Gadget UK here again, just a really, really quick video, um, just to show you that I did get the uh, ST working with another CPU. Um, I got, uh, this is the one that I've just uh, taken out there, it's uh, 8 MHz, uh, 68,000. I got, uh, what I needed to order was um, uh, 68,000 P12, which is a 12 MHz um, chip. And uh, what I will do is, um, once I've tested this for a while, played different games and things on it, um, you know, just to test stability, make sure it's all okay, I'll uh, put um, the 16 megahertz uh, switching circuit in there so I can toggle between 8 megahertz and 16 megahertz. Um, the reason those um, MC, uh, sorry, 68 uh, HC 000's uh, P16s didn't work is that, and I only discovered this later on, I did a bit of research uh, after I did that last uh, video thread where I put the socket on this and stuff and found that they didn't work and uh, what I discovered is it's a CMOS chip um, which means the drive levels and things are not as uh, strong, you know, it can't deliver as much current um, that a TTL chip can deliver, you know, the sort of low power equivalent to the 68,000, uh, you know, low, low power versions of those chips um, there's a whole range of different clock speeds and things you can get but but that was the key that the CMOS. Um, now I don't know whether increasing the voltage on this um, from just above five volts might have helped. It may well have done. I don't know because I know some people have got this working. Um, it could just be that my voltage levels bang on five or just under five, four point nine five or something. Other people's are five point two or something, and that's just enough to allow that, that you know those CMOS chips to work. I don't know. What I do know is uh, I posted on the Tari forum, and um, uh, I think it's Exxon, uh, nice guy on there, Chris. Um, managed to provide a bit of information straight away he was along the, the opinion that because it's CMOS you won't get them working because uh, you know can't drive the um, uh, various uh, lines and things address lines and whatever else is connected to it because of the uh, lack of current uh, you know lack of power I guess um, so yeah it seems um, like those um, 68 HC triple zeros are a bit of a lost cause on the ST um, there's a few people on the Amiga boards uh, suggesting that they should work in Amigas so might have a crack at that, I'm not sure. What I do know is with the Amigas is you start changing the A500 clock speed, you start running into all sorts of major compatibility issues. Whereas with the ST, you know, jumping up to 16 megahertz, a lot of the software out there is already written in such a way to support it. And, um, you know, you're just increasing the CPU, you're not, you know, affecting any of the other clocks on there. Um, so it should all be all right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope to see you soon. Cheers, bye.